and I'm gonna go get some coffee, maybe some Starbucks. It's pumpkin spice season. It's pumpkin spice season. Good morning guys today is the day we have something huge coming today it's the start of something forever I don't want to spoil it y'all let's go get some Starbucks because I need a coffee it's early me and Caesar we are gonna go load up a barn find is that still a thing a barn find so we're gonna go load up this barn find it's more of a treasure than a barn find but yeah come along so apparently Caesar don't drink Starbucks. Neither do I, but I know a couple things to drink. And he's wearing a camo hat. Cool, bro. Me first. Cool, bro. We're gonna get this coffee and get going down the road. Can y'all see these bags under my eyes? I'm so excited about this. All right, guys, we're here. I'm gonna let Caesar do a little montage and walk around on the car, and then we're gonna get loaded up and we're gonna tell you a little bit about it. But you got it fucking awesome. say family of fine cars that's so dope it's not the window sticker Sean it's There it is, guys. 1969 Ford Gran Torino. This car was ordered originally through the original Ford dealership here in town, which, there you have it. Pierce Motor Company. Aunt Mel, thanks a million for giving me the opportunity. I'm being first in line to get this car. So, Aunt Mel is Hindi's aunt. I don't know if y'all met Tyler Henderson on the channel yet, but her father bought this car, or ordered this car, right? Just short story, Ford gave, and correct me if I'm wrong, but Ford gave David Pearson a 68 Grand Torino, right? And your pops loved it. They were next door neighbors, so he got the same car in 69. Correct. Is that kind of, so, oh, so David Pearson had just. It, it was a matching car to his Holman Moody built 17 Ford Torino. Okay. Ah, uh, so the Gran Torino that David Pearson got from Ford was his matching, matching to his race car. Right. Oh my goodness. He won, in, he won the and championship in 68 and 69. All right, so Ronnie says that he won the championship in 68 and 69. I'm so excited to dive into the history of like this car, which I already know a lot about, but yeah, I'm gonna finish getting loading it up because I'm not strapping it down and I need to be. See, when you pull on that, it's it putting a little slack in here, but it, it's not going anywhere. Wow. Did he drive this at all? Every day. He drove this every day? Yeah. 1966 Ford F100 custom cabs. I had one of these in college, and Tyler Henderson's actually about to end up with this one. It's going to be sweet. I'll cruise his grandpa's tree now. He'll cruise his grandpa's F100. I had plans for mine, like... When I got mine, I was like, I'm gonna buy a Crown Vic, put a Crown Vic front end under it, blah, blah. blah. Man, the Raptor is sagging, but it is worth it. Oh. 
Yeah. All right, guys. So y'all officially right. saw the barn find. This car hasn't gone out of the shop since '83. It's 1969 428 Cobra Jet car. Honestly, I've been waiting for the moment to be able to get into an old hot rod, and this was the perfect moment. It was a buddy's grandpa's car. It was like I've known these people for so long that like they're family to me. It's crazy. Lost for words. But here's a little bit of the car before we get going down the road, and I'm gonna I'm gonna stop at a car wash and just wash it off or whatever. So this is it. And honestly, guys, if I can get together, once I get this car running, if I can get it together with David Pearson's car that was given to him by Ford, I'm going to do that because I know that car still is in town, and I believe his son owns it. But I'll tell you what, guys. Check this out. I really can't wait to get this car going. And first, I want to get Tyler's grandmother in it and cruise it with her. But then after that, I can't wait to cruise this car with Meredith. Nice Sunday ride. It just needs a cleaning. We'll see if we can't get someone to sponsor us with a good cleaning. All right, guys, we have left with a Torino. Caesar picked up some cool gear while we were out there. Come what on. What you got? What you got? Come on. Come on. Come oh, on. Oh, big come on. Come on, one more. Oh, come one more. On. Oh. Whoa, wait, what'd you put up the last time? Not, no. no. I don't know. I don't forget. Wait. Man, look. Well, why are you only putting one hat up? Come I don't on, get it. Come on, dog. I don't get it. You only come have two on, hats dog. in your hands. Come on, dog. You only got two hats in your hands. Bop, I don't get it. Bop, bop. Come oh, you on, got dog. three hats. I got Cinco. Nah, bro. Oh, they camo? Ah. ah you got me. Yeah, almighty. You got me. All right. We're going to go take this home because I got a lot of work to do today. But... Look at that. Look at that rear view. There's some Ford on Ford action right there. Let's get this thing home, Caesar. All right, guys, it's the first official wash for the 69 Grand Torino. Not wash, we're just gonna knock the dust off of it. It hasn't been pulled out of the shop that it was in since, what was it, Caesar, like 60 or 83 or something? So, we don't have a lot of time to mess with it today, or we would. I think what we're just going to do is we're going to rinse it off. We'll go put it up. Just kind of see what's underneath the car, you know? Like underneath all the dust. First time, first time seeing sun, you know? So we got to... Well guys, there you have it. The Grand Torino is home. Man, it was it was awesome being able to go down there and see everything that this guy like had in his collection. Caesar actually came home with some very cool Dale Earnhardt stuff. I picked up a members only jacket for my nephew Caden. I wish that would have been one for that fit me. But yeah, don't think this car is going anywhere because this car is going to be around as completely just added to the collection. Shop's a mess, but so that car's staying. The wife said the boat has to stay 
And then obviously Meredith Harlequin is staying. They're all on battery tenders right now because I need to drive them. So yeah, so the pickup is getting a 1.9 TDI. The Harlequin is getting a 3.6 liter VR6, but they both run and drive right now. So our main focus is going to be the Torino. We do have the Mark V that we fixed and we're going to be selling it. So that's definitely not staying. So yeah, keep an eye out for these Gran Torino videos. If you liked it, it's a one owner car. I mean, that, that blows my mind that it's a 69 428 Cobra Jet, one owner car. I'm ready to cruise this thing. I'm not gonna lie to you. So yeah, appreciate y'all watching this video. Y'all make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell us a little bit about what you're into. I mean, are you a Ford guy? Are you a Chevy guy, Volkswagen? We like all hot rods here. We don't discriminate. So yeah. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in, and we'll catch you on the next video. Mm.